Let's get started now. A Nigerian conglomerate with interest in hospitality, energy, and agriculture, among other sectors. Transco PLC has announced a new acquisition of 25.58% stake of its shares by Ilumelu's Hairs Holding Capital Limited. Now, the acquisition was seen as a significant move for, for Ilumelu's HH uh, Capital Limited, a private investment firm led by Nigerian billionaire Tony Ilumelu. Ilumelu is known for his extensive business interest in Nigeria and beyond. An acquisition of a significant stake in Transco PLC is seen as a strategic move for his investment portfolio. And according to details of the acquisition, as of April 25, uh, the HH Capital Limited acquired more than 9.69 billion units of shares, bringing their total holdings in Transco to 9.99 billion units of shares, representing about 25.58% of the company's total shares. And however, uh, it's unclear if UAB, uh, UBA nominees, which was the XY majority shareholder of Transco PLC, still retains its uh, shareholding or if part of it was transferred to Hess Holding Capital Limited. Meanwhile, Transco PLC also announced Fermi Otedola purchased a further 228.38 million units of the company's shares in addition to the 5.05% uh, he already owns you know, bringing the total share to more than 6%. While well, this has been seen as a major development in the Nigerian capital market, it remains to be seen how these, uh, the, uh, these two business uh, titans will make their next move. Interesting conversation. So let's begin from you, uh, Kasimo. Uh, the latest acquisition was done in an off-take uh, market or off-market uh, trade. So what does this mean and how will this affect the current ownership structure of Transco PLC? Secondly, how will this acquisition impact on the company's, uh, uh, company with regards to benefit and risk for existing shareholders? Uh, let's start from there. Well, actually, as this transaction become a dramatic change in the entire mm. uh, position of the Transco? Because this is somebody who is the chairman Earning 40 to 45 kobo per annum and paying only one kobo for many years. Except this year, he decided to pay five kobo, and nobody knows his position. By the time the chief PME acquired the entire holding of Ancom, plus other in the market moved to five percent, now he is total of 6.5 percent. They all raise up and start crossing and having 25 percent. Mm. For me, it's an eye opener to the entire market and the regulators. Mm. Why should you own a holding in other name without letting the regulators know? Because before, until when they say that Chipemi is the second largest owner, now we start seeing crossing across the board. Okay. Who is holding what? And on whose behalf is holding it? In a quoted company, it's a public company, it's supposed to have a complete transparency. Who on what? So that we know the insiders. And if there is any insider dealing, we know it. Remember, they quickly changed their closure date and exposed the first quarter result. All this tried to, to remove the closure date to enable them to perfect this transaction. We are saying that the regulator is an eye opener for them to say no to anybody who wants to hide under any cover. That is one. Two, we thank Chip Pemi for coming into this market and want him to go into the market, identify those companies that have potential and bring them out. Mm. This company moved by 200% capitalization in less than one month. So mm. if it is doable, it can be doable to other stocks that are still trading as a penny stock. And we like what he did and we held him and we want him to do more. And we want others to also follow the suit. In any way, he's going to be better off. Okay. Either remain as a shareholder, or they can take him up at a premium, which all we have to talk is price appreciation. Remember, Transcom came to the market in 7 Naira. For many years, it's traded 1 Naira. 750. Yes, For many years, it's traded 1 Naira. And somebody keep on acquiring him, and even though they are making money, he's just paying one couple. Is it an insider deal and can this be considered illegal 
And what can the SEC do about it? Um, I mean, if you can do that in less than uh, one no. minute. The, the regulators is an eye opener. If they don't know it now, they have seen it, and we wait to see how they deal with those situations. Okay, we wait because to see. It is a situation like in America, by tomorrow you'll hear the finality. You cannot hide under any name. Mm -hmm. You cannot buy in any name in your name. Because most of these transactions were mere crossing. So they exist in oh. that name, but never display in the box. Mm -hmm. Now, one just display 5.5 percent and we start seeing the true pictures mm. yes the regulators are making money because of crossing you have to pay the fee but not to standing for non-disclosure of this information if they did not do we expect the regulators to come out so that some lesson to any other person want to hide under any other power we want to do the true picture of who on what at any given time that is the public so, so, so in essence, the regulator, the watchdog, is also guilty of its own guideline and regulation. Okay, one, um, Ambrose, let me come to you. Two things. Um, if you look at the current uh, value uh, of uh, Transco PLC, it's what about 109.3 billion, and uh, that's a huge spike from about 50 billion era in, in just about three months just just about three months ago it was what about 50 billion uh, but now it's about 109 almost 110 billion uh, so how do you think this will impact on the share price going forward and secondly how do you think the market will react to these news that okay only one mine is having the largest uh, share because we thought of Femi that was the largest share but now we are seeing the truth now actually you know Capital market is a, capital, a capitalist business. Mm. That means for you to play this market, you must be where the billionaires are. And like uh, like I said, when two elephants you know, fight the grass of our body, this time when two elephants fight, investors are smart to the bank. It's good that such event or such a scenario should repeat in other sectors on some companies. Why? Because since the signing of uh, you know, power into you know, concurrent risk, mm -hmm. we have seen that interest in investment in, 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 you know, in past sector has increased. Knowing that Prem is also a player in that sector, seeing potential mm -hmm. and also in Transcorp, trying to co co transport and work to be a shareholder, it shows that it's also seeing value in that industry. For me, it's a local development, but like you just said, sustaining this momentum is what we need in the market. Mm -hmm. We need such, that means other billionaires in the market that are just sleeping, taking a good dividend because they're having a major share order and that they are not paying nearly at all, all their dividend, uh, their earnings out because they're going to earn more. To do something that they move the market, let the market be active, let's feed the part of the billionaires in Nigeria on our market. <coughs> that will change the face of the market. <coughs> Another one is that Transcorp is in a sector that we have seen where they are going. Now, before now, the payment terms of dividend have been poor. Mm -hmm. That's why the earnings look good. But <laughs> will this change in holding structure? We expect that investors in the transcorp will start seeing value for their investment because as you are making money, no need to reflect. Mm -hmm. Now you can see how they go their last dividend from about 20 kubu to 5 kubu, five, five, 2 kubu to 5 kubu, tell you that it's They are key one number is not looking too attractive, but I believe that it's not only uh, transcorp. Look at also, um, you know, uh, getting good power to the Akiwa will not don't look too good again. But I believe that going to the forward, uh, going to the future, we expect to see a better number. Knowing that they are into utility, utility business anywhere in the world is where you no know, investors should look at because it's what you need. And now, when it comes to power or energy, you mm -hmm. need them. But I believe that there's a potential there for investors that are in transcorp, even the price correct tomorrow, mm -hmm. just know why you are there, have a focus, know your plan. I see potential in that industry. But like Alaji said, we need such play. To mm -hmm. put go around in other companies that were simple, those companies that we said they have the potential, but the price that remain unchanged or remain flat, low. Let such kind of move also bring out the potential in that company. So, investors mm -hmm. now see that yes, there's something here. And don't forget also, uh, Femi Otorella, or about anywhere he entered, remember when he entered uh, FBN Holding, we saw mm -hmm. a change. Why he was fought, we saw a change before he moved down to this, uh, you know. Will bring very good to the market mm -hmm. from uh, from and hundred returns. from hundred naira. They listed the talk to almost three three hundred twenty. You can see that you understand the capital market. That is why when I say be where the billionaire is, not just that just go and look. Understand the strategy, learn from the and activities, then. and know how to put okay. it you know, into an, and enjoy the flow. Okay, L let's wrap it up with this, uh, uh, Mr. Kurfi. Uh, talk to us. Do you think uh, there will be uh, uh, there will be changes to Transcorp PLC's uh, dividend policy uh, as a result of this acquisition. You talk about the fact that they were paying, is it 45 uh, 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 Kobo 
uh, instead of, uh, I mean, they are making money and they are paying 45 kobo. No, they are paying peanuts. No, they are paying kobo. Okay, yeah. okay. They are paying, they are paying one kobo. Okay, <laughs> okay. One kobo. <laughs> okay. So, so that's peanuts compared to what they are supposed to be. the worst dividend in the market. Yeah. Well, it, it is up a lesson. But me, I'm still waiting to see what regulators do with this uh, power play. That is okay. one. Because they cannot keep a demand. Now that uh, people are exposed, and we know the true holders that hold in another name, why do you hold in another name when you have the right to hold in your name? Because by the law of sake, you can hold up to 85%. Mm, that's true. But you remember up to the time that GPME acquired 5%, the holding of Tony is very insignificant. Mm. Now suddenly moved to 25%. Okay. What did the regulator do to it? That is one. Two, the trend must change. Mm, okay. Because I can tell you that transfer will never go back to one era again. Yes, mm. I agree with you, sir. <laughs> and the game is over. <laughs> and that's, because that what you are exposed, you are exposed. If you are not going to do it, other are going to do it again. Mm. Yes. Remember that it has over 40 billion issued share capital. Yes. So those who choose to go into it, they can go into it and they can do something. Mm. And that's therefore, right. it will open eye to all other quoted company that you no longer just sit down. What many stock that are doing very well, but their price is nothing to write home, and they don't even pay dividend. Mm. So okay. we went for me okay. to identify those stock and get into it, so that we get more competition into this and get the true value of the stocks. Yes. Okay. All right. Uh, interesting. Thank you uh, for your thought.